the Linux operating system is a standard de facto for the service platforms, mm -hmm. that's for sure. And even nowadays it's being used for some mobile devices and for uh, many of network switches and so on, but it's never been, uh, never reached really a nature of being a competitor at the desktop level. Right. Why? Uh, this is my f personal failure point in Linux, that I started Linux as a desktop operating system, and it's the only area where Linux hasn't completely taken over. I mean, that, that just annoys the hell out of me. It's like, you said it has had some success in the mobile operating system. Google's last numbers were 900,000 new activations every day. That's not some success, right? <laughs> right? Uh, so the desktop is really hard, and I know why it's hard, and it's still annoying that the desktop is basically the last holdout. The reason the desktop is so hard to crack is most consumers do not want to install an operating system on their machine. And that's not desktop centric. You don't want to install an operating system on your cell phone either, right? The reason Linux is successful on cell phones is not because you have 900,000 people downloading disk images and installing them on their cell phone every day. No, it's because it comes on the cell phone pre-installed. And that has never happened in the desktop market and it's really hard to get it to happen. I mean, you, you get it, to, there have been companies that sell, like Dell, even in Finland, although I know they do it in, U, in the US, but I think they do it in Finland too, that especially if you're a big business and you want to run Linux, they will pre-install Linux on your desktop. But it's something where you have to specify that you want it and they do it for a very limited portion of their, of the machines they sell. So it's not something very common. And if you don't get the pre-installs, you're never going to get the desktop dominance. And uh, will that ever happen? Right now, the biggest hope is projects like Google Chromebook. And I have a first generation Chromebook and the thing is slow and horrible. And when I get back home, uh, I think I should have a second generation Chromebook in the mail just because for some odd reason, Google sends me these things. <laughs> so, so I will see, I'm, I, I know the hardware is so much better, so I'm no, no longer worried about the, the slow part. Uh, but it, this is something where I don't think you hit it on the, I know you don't hit it on the first generation. I don't think you hit it on the second. On the third generation, maybe. On the fourth, fifth, that's when we start talking. If you look at Android, it wasn't Android 1.0 that took off. So, so I'm, I'm hopeful that on the desktop it will happen, but the only way it happens is if we have pre-installs. And it's, it's not there today. <laughs>